Today, we're back in my 1.18 hardcore world. And don't mind me, I'm just getting some melons for the old trading hall over there. But today, oh my gosh, we got a very big plan. We're gonna make an overpowered raid farm. Recently, I've had some close calls with death. I wanna put some kind of... So I realized I need an easy way to get totems of undying. Also, free emeralds. So yeah, the plan is set. Let's get to work. We gotta get a ton of materials. Wait, what did I just hear? Hey buddy, what's up? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. What do you got for me? Nothing too good. Oh no, he despawned. Oh wait, no, you're right there. I love that guy. So our first step is to find a place to build the farm. And I know the perfect place. Everybody follow me. And here we are. Who recognizes is this place. This right here is my old raid farm. It's like my poor man's farm. It's okay, it works, but it's very inefficient. So my plan is to tear this thing down and build the new one right out over here on the ocean. And the reason I want to build it in the same area is because of that thing right there, the pillager outpost. For all you noobs out there, raid farms are powered by the bad omen effect. And surprise, surprise, the easiest way to get that effect is at the pillager outpost. Hey there, buddy, how you doing? I'll be back for you later. Don't kill me yet. Location, check. So I ran back home, grabbed my shulker boxes, and began collecting materials. And while I do that, please subscribe and hit the bell. There is one thing I'm missing, and that is some redstone stuff. This farm requires a decent amount of redstone, and I have not been mining much recently, so I'm a little bit low in this department. So that being said, redstone mining spree. I'm going in. Oh my gosh, look at all the dirt blocked. I hate Enderman, dude. Redstone, where are you hiding? Not what I need, but I'll take you. Thank you very much. Aha! More redstone! Redstone! Oh my gosh, there's more! Well, this is going swell. And more redstone, too! I love this game, man! Thank you. And boom! Just like that, we are ready to roll. I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot less blocks than I thought I needed. But I'm not gonna complain. Let's get to work. So I took the portal back to the pillager outpost. We're not doing this right now! I'm making a farm for you guys! Well, not for you guys, it's more with you guys. Now, this farm consists of a bottom stone base to hold a villager, a giant cobblestone tube for a water elevator, and a chamber at the top to kill all the raid mobs. All right, we're almost done here. And would you look at that tall specimen? This is quite the tall thing. I'll be honest, it looks extremely ugly, but it's good for emeralds and totems, so I'm okay with it for now. But there actually is one more thing I need to do. I gotta get a villager. And if not, the farm will not work at all. So we gotta go do that, but luckily for me, we can reuse parts from the old farm because somewhere underneath here, there is a villager trapped. So our mission, rescue the the villager and get rid of the old farm. I should probably sleep first, shouldn't I? Ooh, while I'm down here, is there any loot I want to take with me? Yeah, not really. Yeah, I'll take those. And now I sleep. And that's all she wrote. All right, villager, where you at? I'm busting you out of here. I can hear you somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, my friend, how you doing? It's your time to leave. Get on out of here. And I take out a boat. Get in. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. There you go. He's in the boat. Now, hopefully this will be pretty easy and smooth, but villagers and me don't get along very well. We got a bad history. Don't die, don't die! All right, good. Smooth as a cucumber. Wait, what? Come on, my friend. Yes, yes. Oh, you're almost there. Get in. Nice, all right, sweet. Villager secured. And that being said, let's go explain how the thing works. Now the pillagers think that this guy is a village. So they're gonna try to spawn a raid on his face. But as soon as they see him, I'm gonna run up here and they're gonna spawn at the top of this platform. And I pop up here, go on top of this trap door and I smack the pillagers from this little slit right here. And there's a lot of weird redstone things like boats and whatever that is up there. As you can tell, I'm not a redstone guy, but I'm excited, let's go try it out. Oh, Ben. Banner guy. Ow. Where's the banner guy? Where's your leader? I want to give him a gift. Hey, buddy, a gift for you. It's called a smack in the face. And now we go to the farm. Oh my gosh, that thing is so ugly. But okay, I fly down here. Where's the raid? Where's the raid? Where's the raid? When's the raid gonna start? What'd I do wrong? I'll save you some time. I had to give the villager a workstation. Smack it there. Does that work? Yes. Okay, it's starting. Go, go, go. Go in the water. Go up. Quick, go. Oh boy, I'm nervous. All right, I go in here. I flick the lever and they should just go right there there yeah <gasps> let's go guys it's working i'm getting so many emeralds i have five totems already that was like nothing i was not kidding this farm is overpowered okay i think that wave is done so now i have to go back down and restart the raid thing so i go back down here i splash and i go back up and do it again perfection Chef's kiss. Now at this point, I wanted to give the farm a proper test. So I AFK'd for quite a while and 
Oh my gosh, I got so much loot. I've only been here for half an hour and I have two full shulker boxes full of totems. And on top of that, we have this many emeralds. This farm is insane. I literally might never need a totem ever again. I'm like set for life. One thing I didn't realize with the farm is it's infinite. It goes on until I decide to leave. I could sit there for hours and hours and hours and it will never stop giving me that stuff. Are you mad at me because I'm farming you? I'm sorry. Now that being said, I am never gonna use all these emeralds, right? So I got a really sick idea. Today, I want to build a giant epic building that uses emeralds in the build. And after some thinking, I decided I want to build a giant watchtower. I've really been wanting to make a giant tower for a while, but I couldn't think of the right reason to do it. But now I have one. So let's get to work. So I hopped in a separate creative mode world and began planning out a grand tower encrusted with emeralds. And after about one hour, I loved the design. Okay, I I am super duper excited for this build, but I gotta find a place to put it because it's gonna be like a nice tall building, kind of like the lighthouse, but a little bit smaller. So where would this look the most grand and epic? I'm thinking maybe we go a little bit near the castle. Cause if you think about it, over here is like the rich area of my world and this tower is gonna be made of emeralds. It sounds pretty rich to me. So yeah, over here, maybe up there, sounds amazing. All right, I like it, but now we gotta go get some materials and there's a lot. <laughs> Let's get to grinding. But then then I saw an old friend. Oh, hey, Forest Cat, how you doing? Wait, Mr. Pig, what are you doing out here? Oh my gosh, if you guys are new here, Mr. Pig is my pet pig who lives in that castle. He must have escaped. Well, fine, Mr. Pig, stay out here. Find a new castle. No one appreciates me, man. So I gathered tons of woods and stones, but there was one block I was missing. So it appears I don't have much calcite, which I wanted to use in the build, so that means we gotta go on a little adventure. Now, I'm pretty sure you can only find calcite in geodes, which are kind of hard to find. So wish me luck here. I think there's one somewhere around. Yes, right there. Nice safe landing out. Oh my gosh, I haven't mined these things in like years, it feels like. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to neglect you. One day, I really want to make a build with this stuff. I don't know what I want to do yet, but I'd love to do something with this. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Give me that calcite, please. Thank you very much. I then realized I forgot another important block. Okay, listen, nobody better judge me here, okay? I may or may not need some gold for this build and I'm too lazy to go mining so sorry sorry I'm sorry so I replaced the gold with iron for the beacon and just like that it was time to build this magnificent tower And oh my gosh, what do you guys think about this bad boy? I love this tower. I think it came out so good. I love the color scheme. I love how it's like a gradient, how it goes from like dark to gray to the lightest. I love the emeralds inside of here. And the best part is we made a giant bell up here. It's more of a bell tower. It's kind of like a watchtower bell tower mix. And it's raining. That's nice. Totally killing the mood right now. But the bell looks amazing. The tower is great. So yeah, I'm satisfied. This is the best view ever. The tower and the castle side by side. Oh, now we still got to do the interior right now. It's totally empty. It's very ominous in here. So I got to do that. I also got to do like a little bit of an outside pathway to get back over to the road. So we got some things to do with the tower, but overall it looks great. So what a great start. So off I went gathering some materials to work on the interior floor. Ooh, little secret cave down here. Oh. Hello? Ah, I guess that's it. I thought it was gonna be cooler than that. Hmm, now how should I do this? I think I might do like a big spiral staircase that goes up to the top. That might look kind of cool, right? I say we try it out. Let's do this thing. Okay, so the staircase looks good, but I want to make this feel like very royal and like classy because again, it's right next to the castle, so it needs to be like fancy. So I'm going to put some really like fancy blocks in here, like some bookshelves and like some stray emerald blocks all over the place. I hope this looks good. <laughs> And here's the final product. What do you guys think? I like the emeralds. It's a very eye-popping thing. The bookcases are nice and the candles and all this stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of annoying to walk up because of all this junk. But again, it's for looks, it's for the aesthetic, so I'm not gonna complain too much. And up at the top, we have a ladder to take us up to another little staircase, which kind of spirals in this big circle. Then there's one more ladder that takes us up to the top. I think it's glorious. Actually, wait, I have one more idea. This is the Royal Watchtower, right? So I gotta have some some bodyguards. Squire, defend, wait, what? Take number two. Squire, oh my goodness. Take three. Squire, 
Defend this tower. <laughs> I got it. And I'll smack the other one up here at the top and he can actually be like the watchman. He'll actually be the guy who's like, you know, spotting out enemies and saying, Farzee, there's a pillager near you. All right, my friend, be a good watchman. Tell me if there's bad things happening. And most importantly, have some fun. Fun is the most important thing after all. Well, that and doing your taxes. Everyone do your taxes, okay? I then built a nice little road to connect back to the tower, but then I realized something. I almost forgot something very important. Last episode, I said if the video got 3,500 likes, I would explode 1,000 pieces of TNT in the overworld. And you guys absolutely nailed it. So that being said, we got some explosions to do today. But the question is, do I have any TNT? I have 11. That is not 1,000. I need a lot more than that. So I collected tons of gunpowder from the creeper farm and mined tons of sand. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Turtle. I just need the sand. I sincerely apologize. Well, Raid Farm, we meet again. I have quite literally mined all the sand back around my base. So I gotta travel to new places to get sand. And that right there is 1,000 pieces of TNT. So it's time to go explode these bad boys. So here's my plan. I wanna go find a big flat area and just explode a gigantic, super deep crater. Why? I don't know, it just sounds kinda fun. Ooh, wait, ideas, ideas. Over here is the mountain across from my base, from my land. It's across the pond, lake, river thing. You can't tell me a giant crater wouldn't look sick up here. I think it would be awesome. That being said, I'm doing it. We're digging straight down. Let's go. Wait just a second. There's a copper vein right here. What? I placed all this TNT already and there's a copper vein right here. What are the odds of that? But I can't stop now. I gotta keep going. I'm so sorry, copper vein. And that is it. Well, minus these eight here, but I'll just smack them like that, I guess. All right, 1,000 pieces of TNT down. Three, two, one, run away. What? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That is a big hole. Oh my good gracious. Hey, the copper vein and an emerald. I'll take you. Wow, this is insane. This is, dude, this is like way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Total side note. I could build something really cool down here. If you guys have any cool ideas for this, comment it down below. Maybe one day I'll build some massive cave base or something like that. I don't know. But all that being said, if this video gets 3,500 likes, I will try to tame a pet ghast. That could go so poorly, but it might be fun. But carrying on, there is another project that I really wanted to work on today. If you missed it, last episode, I made this gigantic trading hall. But the thing is, back over here, I have another small trading hall that I know longer need. So the plan right now is to transform this old trading hall into something cool and epic. So I did some brainstorming and I thought of the perfect idea. We're gonna turn that place into a tavern, a place for the villagers to get drinks. And it's gonna fit in perfectly because up here above that there is a little bit of a potion lab. So here's where like the drinks are made and downstairs they'll be served in a nice underground restaurant tavern thing. So I started out by breaking out the villagers and the zombie and then opening up the back to make a nice open area for for a big room. So the back wall is all opened up and I also kept one of the villagers because this guy has amazing trades. He has mending, silk touch, fire aspect. So he's the one guy I do not want to get rid of. You can go away, Bob. I don't care about you. Now, obviously I can't leave him here in the middle of the place. It just looks dumb. So I think I'm gonna make him the bartender and make him a little bit of like a, like a bar to attend to. But that being said, back to work we go. Introducing the Villager Tavern. Guys, ladies, gentlemen, everybody, what do you think? I personally think it is amazing. Oh, we got a leak. We have a leak on the premises. Not good. I'll get that patched up. But besides that, look at this beautiful tavern. It looks very cozy and homey. It's not too big, but you know, we got the little lounge area down here. We got the bar with the seats, got the, the keg thingies. And of course, the bartender who has the amazing trades. Your name will be Mr. Bartender. I don't know. I love it. It's a great little tavern bar place. And plus, we can still go upstairs to our potion lab very easily. I'd call that a success. Oh, hello there. I'm so happy he's not despawning anymore. Wait, as a matter of fact, since I have a sick new emerald farm, I'll give him some business. Excuse me again, sir. I will take some of your blue ice because we are now friends, right? No? Okay. But guys, that's all the time I have for today. So I'm going to peace out. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.